as the push for rural broadband continues, electric cooperatives convene in Washington, D.C., meeting with lawmakers in an effort to bridge the digital divide. And joining us now is FESCO Electric Cooperative's general manager out of Ohio, Ed Van Hose. Ed, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Why are these cooperatives taking on the issue of broadband Internet accessibility? Well, thank you for having me, Janet. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to come and speak to you guys. Um, one of the most important reasons why we're taking on broadband accessibility within rural areas is simply because there, there aren't enough providers out there in our areas right now providing these types of services. Uh, much like in the 1930s and 40s when electric cooperatives were first formed, um, getting service to the rural areas has proved problematic due to lower density in our, our uh, populations. So, for example, if you're in a city and you do a broadband rollout, you have many more people per mile to help spread the cost of that. So it's easier to to manage the economics of it. So but what, if are, you're these, in a, go what are these rural cooperatives doing to expand the broadband access? Uh, right now what we're doing is we're focusing on building out our substations. So, so we build the larger middle mile access fiber pipes and then from there we can develop our our um, direct fiber to the home or a mixed bag of wireless offerings but you know looking at what's best in every different area and coming up with the ways in which that we can help satisfy every rural area it's, it's important for us uh, to try and hit every area that we can and not leave people out so what are the obstacles that cooperatives face in getting broadband uh, getting into the broadband environment you know there are some um, political obstacles, but honestly, the biggest obstacles we face are economics. Uh, when you have, as I talked about earlier, a lower density population, to make the economics work on that and still provide a, a reliable service at a reasonable price uh, can be difficult. And so, you know, just working through those economics, making sure that what we're doing is right for our rural communities is, is very important and critical to the, to the success of um, any of these rollouts. And we've reported on a number of programs, uh, trial programs, pilot programs that uh, they've put out to try and help expand rural broadband. How else can the government help make rural broadband uh, more of a reality for more places across the country? Well, we have some, some concerns in various states about you know, easement issues and, and things of that nature, and, and some help there would be good. There are states who have taken the lead there, and so um, those changes are occurring right now. But also, continuing programs like the ReConnect program that's in the current Farm Bill are pretty important to rolling out broadband services throughout rural areas where sometimes the economics are difficult to make happen. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Again, FASCO Electric Cooperative's General Manager, Ed Ben Hose, joining us from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau.